Mother of three FAMU alums who are making a difference. She's making a difference. It's a phenomenal story. Take a look. I want to do one plus one. Brownsville Preparatory Institute, a school that operates in an underserved neighborhood of Tallahassee with the goal of instilling a healthy foundation of reading, writing, and math well before students hit the third grade. Let's see you do it. Count it out. Five. Ten. At a time when education has become such a hot button issue in communities across the country, Rita Brown, the school's founder and principal, feels she's found the right formula for success. It's mine. Very good. You're reading on a fifth grade reading level. Your math skills are bar none. You can write full page compositions. There are just skills you have by the time you have completed the second grade in Brownsville. Brown and her staff teach 75 children at a time in multiple classrooms. The kids are coming from pre-K through the third grade. And it all started after Brown felt her own children weren't getting the attention she felt they needed from the school district. 96, 98. We made the supermarket our math class. We lived in New York. We, the Liberty Science Center was our science class. It was the three R's still, reading, writing, arithmetic. And if you could do reading, writing, arithmetic, you could learn science. All her kids began reading at the age of three. Can you show me how you count it out? The word got out and her methods became popular, eventually transforming into a curriculum that focuses on early age communication and social skills with a heavy emphasis on phonics-based learning. As the students get older, they transition to subjects like math, art, music, and physical fitness. A lesson plan parents say is transformative. They put the kids first. Um, before the parents, um, Ms. Brown, she keeps them in line and they learn on a daily basis. Coming into it, he didn't have the ability to read and now he's reading, he's writing. His situational awareness has just gone through the roof. How big or small you are. Brown's first five graduates have gone on to become executives, scientists, and even a budding professional baseball player. As for her own kids, uh, they're not too shabby. A doctor, a CEO, and a PhD candidate. All local graduates right here at FAMU. You can go on FAMU's campus and see excellence, people who have achieved, and they look just like you. And they hold you to the standards that your mama held you to. Now, how about that? Now, this school, it's free for parents who qualify and for the kids who have scholarships, it's around $61 a month. But this almost didn't happen. Back in 2013, Rita Brown suffered from kidney failure. And if it weren't for her son, who she pulled out and homeschooled, who donated a kidney to her, all this at Brownville, that probably couldn't have happened. How about that for pride, huh?